Hi everyone, I don't expect this to be a particularly interesting video, but I was given uh, this TalkTalk Talk router. Uh, it's an Huawei HG633, and you can't install any custom firmware on it, and it's probably not very good these days anyway, and it's certainly out of warranty, so uh, I thought, why not open it up and uh, see what's in it? So that's, oh dear, the warranty sticker. Oh, I've broken it. Also, apologies if the sound quality of this video is terrible. I have an incredibly noisy air conditioning unit going on in this room, so uh, my phone's probably trying to do noise compression and getting rid of the noise, which probably makes me sound a little bit strange. So, how do I get into it? quite a bit of the thing off and I don't really care whether I break any of the clips so brute force aha uh -huh. so that's obviously the cover just some light guides and that's about it inside here weirdly what looks very much like a bit of rust certainly scraping off, so uh, either it's been in a damp environment, which I don't think it has. Um, yeah, in fact, there's similar uh, corrosion around the edge of that, so maybe maybe it has been in a damp environment, but I don't, when I think of where it came from, I don't think of, uh, of that being a particularly, you know, uh, damp area. So what do we have in it? We've got weirdly offset aerial there, so rather than being entirely horizontal or entirely vertical, it's uh, not even quite 45 degrees. There's a circuit board in the corner there and a circuit board there. Some RF covers, which I won't be able to see underneath. and lift it out. Alright, so I'll undo uh, that aerial cable for a start. And I expect that one runs underneath the board to that corner. Yeah, there we go. So, long aerial to, uh, to these boards. symmetrical or um, I should say they're the same I wouldn't say they're symmetrical but so let's turn this over unusual aerial attachment there wonder if one of these, uh, I don't even know if this is a 5 gigahertz router, but wonder if it's different wave or frequencies. So the reset button there, the WPS button on the side, and a uh, quite hefty power switch. And that's really about all there is. There's uh, two Realtek chips, so there's a uh, RTL 8812AE chip there. There is another Realtek chip, which is RTL 8129ER, and if I recall rightly, that's probably the Ethernet chip. I think that's it. So RTL 81, sorry, 8192ER. I mean, transposing numbers back there. That's really about all that's. Uh, sensibly identifiable on this board. But there you go, that's what's in one of those old TalkTalk Talk routers. 
Right, so if uh, anyone did want to know, because they were looking up spare parts, the power supply is a Huawei one, or Huawei brand, branded one, uh, model number HW-12010-100, B6W and the output voltage is 12 volts at 1 amp.